Good morning. So this is my breakfast. This is my first day and it is December the 6th, Monday. So this is my first week. I am going at it. I'm going at it hard. I'm about to eat my um first meal of the day. It's some plain grits with nothing in it. Um, The instant grits instant grits then that's four egg whites and then i have about a half a cup of berries strawberries and blueberries so this is um one of the this is the breakfast on the meal plan that i was given by my trainer so we're gonna get it in i gotta get this in real quick take my shower and head over to the gym for um the boot camp class and then um i'll have my my training session afterwards so let's get it in so welcome back we are headed with i say we well, we all need to be headed to the gym. I already showed y'all what I had this morning for breakfast. I took my shower and now I am headed to the gym. I am in the car and hopefully I don't run into traffic because I am 10 minutes behind schedule. Um, but oh my God, there's a Uh, truck on his back over there. Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't be so. I'm not gonna be too long because I need to focus on driving. I don't want to. Um, man, I was just on that road. Thank you, Lord. But, um, so I'm, I'm headed to get it in, y'all. I am sick and tired of having this extra weight on me. I am so sick and tired of it. Oh my God. I've, I've been thick or big five, you know, uh, long enough. It ain't big fine and it ain't thick no more. Not to me. I got to get this weight off of me. And, um, and those of you who've been following me, you know, I know some people may be following me for one reason or another. Some, a lot of y'all are following me because of my um, surgery journey. Um, but y'all know I um, couldn't have my surgery um, last month because of my my blood. Um, which is called, uh, well, at the time, my blood was in hypercoagulability state, which is, um, you know, it was, um, basically I was at a higher risk for, um, having a, a blood clot or pulmonary embolism, and y'all know that could be fatal. So, um, that's what my blood work showed. But the Doppler or the ultrasound that they did on my legs showed that um, there was no clots in my legs or or anything like that. And um, the doctor who, who performed the ultrasound said that it could have been just from the flight um, because I was I did have a very uncomfortable flight. And for the most, and if a, a large part of the reason is because um, um, I had on compression socks from last year that was, they were tight last year, but this year they was extra tight because I, I mean, I've gained so much weight since my last surgery. So, but y'all, to be honest with you, I'm glad that it happened the way it happened because I wasn't even near my goal weight when I went in November to have my um, breast reduction and um, 
arm lipo i mean arm lift i so i'm i'm happy because now i could get uh, down to my goal weight um by the time i go back which is in june so um my mission right now is to drop 10 pounds per month i'm sure i can probably do more but i think 10 pounds is realistic and it doesn't um what's the word i'm looking for like it's it's I, i'm not i won't be scared or like pushing pushing it too far when it comes down to losing a weight so i'm putting myself my I'm putting my goal at 10 pounds per month up until the time I leave. Now I I, I have to be a third between 30 he said 35 and 36 BMI. Okay, which means I don't have to lose that as much weight as I'm trying to lose. But because I'm just ready to get get rid of the weight y'all and I want to I want I want my arms to be as small as they can get them because I've had big arms all my life and I want my breasts to be as small as they can get them because I've had big breasts all my life. So that's my goal, y'all. I wanna look how I wanna look and I know what I wanna look like and which is not like anyone else, but similar to what I look like in my early 20s or my mid 20s, you know. Because, you know, just the past year, I've, the past two years, I put on a lot of weight. I put on almost 100 pounds. So, yep, it's time to get it off. So, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with me and following me. Stay tuned because it's only going to go um, get better and, and, and go up from here in every aspect. So, all right, y'all. Let me go. It's, it's starting to sprinkle some, and um, I got to listen to my Tasha Cobbs. It's my routine. I gotta listen to my my Tasha Cobbs while I'm headed there. So I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next clip.
Last time is on the outro. Stuck in the house, need to get out more. I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising. Most people in my position get complacent. Come places with star girls. End up on the front pages. I'm quiet with it, I just ride with it. The moment I stop having fun with it, I'll be done with it. I'm the only one that's putting shots up. And like a potluck, you need to come with it. Don't run from it. Ace town in the summertime, I keep it 100. A lot of girls in my times there, word of Paul Wall, not one fronting. Birthday in my first year, man, I know that place like I come from it. Backstage at Warehouse and 09 like a spun coming. Dad, is anyone coming before I show up there and there's no one there? These days, I could probably pack it for like 20 nights if I go in there. Back rough on my main thing, I've been stressed out. Talking to her like back then, they didn't want me, I'm blessed out. Talking to her like this drop and a million copies get pressed out. She tell me, take a deep breath, you're too worried about being the best. Y'all, can you see the sweat dripping? My shirt is wet and I ain't even wearing no sauna suit. I'm in the car right now. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see me. I'm gonna make it quick anyways. I just finished the, the, the class. <sighs> Ooh, that's sweat everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my eyes are burning. So Oh my eyes are burning. I just finished the first class. Um and my training session starts it's what? It's 9:59 now. 10 o'clock. So my session starts at 11, but sometimes I go in about 10.30. I'm just going to get like a 30-minute rest um, because once I go in to start my training, um, he's going to make me do like 12 minutes on a, like, on a treadmill at like 2.8 miles per hour, but on like the highest incline. And... That shit be breaking. It, 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 that oof, Lord, it be it be rough. But so um, yep. About to rest for a little bit in the car, and then um, I'll see if he would record a, a bit of the uh, training session. So for me, so that's it for now. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Bye.
outro Stuck in the house, need to get out more I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising Most people in my position get complacent Complacent with star girls End up on the front pages I'm quiet with it, I just ride with it the moment I stop having fun with it I'll be done with it I'm the only one that's putting shots up And like a potluck, you need to come with it Don't run from it Ace town in the summertime, I keep it 100 A lot of girls in my times there Word of Paul Wall, not one front it Birthday in my first year, man I know that place like I come from it Backstage at warehouse and oh now like a spun coming. Dad, is anyone coming before I show up there and there's no one there? These days I could probably pack it for like 20 nights if I go in there. Back rough on my main thing, I've been stressed out. Talking to her like back then, they didn't want me, I'm blessed out. Talking to her like this drop and a million copies get pressed out. She tell me take a deep breath, you're too worried about being the best. best. Family from the M town that I've been around. Started-